Welcome to another episode of Stick Shift Stories. In today's episode, we're going to be taking a deep look at the Nissan hard body pickup truck. And we want to know, does this truck have what it takes to be your next vehicle? Stay tuned because this is going to be a super interesting episode. Useful videos family, please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so you'll be notified whenever I upload a new buyer's guide or repair guide. Thank you so much and enjoy this video. Did you know that Nissan and Datsun introduced the first compact pickup truck for the United States market? Yes, the 1959 Datsun pickup had a 37 horsepower, 1000 cc engine. Nissan sold just 159 of these trucks in 1959 and approximately 220 USA servicemen purchased these trucks in Japan and imported them into the United States. Following that first pickup, there was the Datsun 620 followed by the Datsun 720. These trucks were the predecessor to the Nissan D21 or hard body pickup truck. The hard body was designed at the brand new Nissan Design America studio in San Diego, California. This was a first for Nissan who set out to hire and establish a new design center responsible for some truly cutting edge sheet metal. The D21 was penned by designer Tom Semple who worked with Nissan Design America chief Jerry Hirschberg. In the late 1970s, Nissan's president Takashi Ishihara had decided to establish a second design center far removed from Japan. He looked at many different countries but decided to implement his plan in the USA. He would have the design center in the states produce car designs more catered to western tastes to ensure that demand for Nissan vehicles remained strong. After all, 50% or more of product sales happened in markets outside of Japan. Ishiara sent Kazumi Yatsumoto to the USA to establish Nissan Design America. Once established, their first project was to design the Nissan D21 or hard body pickup truck. Their first mass-produced design turned out to be a huge success and it even won awards. The combination of industrialness and toughness to the look was a true testament to the design prowess of the Nissan America Design Studio. Additionally, the overall look of the truck was very muscular with that three-slot hood and those flared fenders. One can truly say that this was a very nicely designed compact pickup truck that definitely had a unique and special look. There were also a lot of design touches that were very intentional. The hard body pickup trucks were made to be catered to the driver. They offered a steeply raked windshield set at 52.5 degrees with the largest doors in their class to provide easy entry and exit. The doors featured three-piece seals and wrap over design to reduce noise levels while the hood was sloped and its low forward height aided airflow over the vehicle while reducing wind noise. The King Cap model's distinctive flip out quarter windows offered better visibility and a truly cool look. The double steel walled cargo bed provided strength and lots of usability. The exterior truly has some very nice design touches. The flared fenders in the front were called triceps by the designer of the truck and the slots in the hood were called mail slots. However, any way you look at it, the design of the hard body pickup truck is very nice. Now it was offered in several different variants, but the main variations included a regular cab and a king cab with two stowaway hidden rear seats. Additionally, the bed lengths included a 6 foot bed length and a long bed version that had a 7 foot bed length. There were several design revisions along the way. For the 1988 and 1989 model year, the hard body used flush mount halogen headlights. In 1993, there was an exterior redesign which included a new hood, grill, and bumper design. However, some of the most standout features of the hard body pickup truck are its blunt face, muscular stance, squared off proportions, and those super cool and attractive Lego style wheels. 
this is certainly a pickup truck that looks good and has a lot to offer in the compact pickup truck marketplace. Production of the hard body trucks lasted from around 1986 and a half all the way to the final run in 1997. There was even a documentary produced in 1997 called Hands on a Hard Body that documented contestants to see how long a person could keep their hands on a hard body truck. The final standing person won the hard body pickup truck. It's a pretty cool documentary, so definitely check it out. The interior was a pretty decent place to spend time. The overall look, fit and finish, and comfort was very competitive within the compact pickup truck market, and the design was very similar to what you would find in other offerings in the late 80s and early 90s. Overall comfort for a compact pickup truck was decent, especially if you opted for the XE or the SE models with high cut pile carpet and bucket seats. Some of the standout features in the interior included the comprehensive, easy to read set of gauges, the seats that were stowaway and hidden when not used, and the rear quarter windows in the king cab models that really did a great job of providing extra light and ventilation within the cabin. Whatever the model though, they all tried hard to provide a decent place for the driver and ample head, shoulder, and legroom. So whether you were using this truck for work or for pleasure, you knew that you had something that was built around you. The dash was redesigned in 1994 and addressed a lot of the shortcomings from the previous design. Nissan offered the hard body in the USA with either a four-cylinder or a V6 engine option. From 1986 and a half to around the middle of 1989, the Z24i four-cylinder made 106 horsepower with 137 pound-feet of torque. Its design utilized two spark plugs per cylinder. This throttle body injected engine was replaced by the KA24e making 134 horsepower and 152 pound-feet of torque. Nissan was the first manufacturer to offer a V6 option on a light-duty compact pickup truck in the USA. The VG30i was fitted to V6 models from 1986.5 to around the middle of 1989. This engine had a long crank snout and throttle body injection. The engine made around 145 horsepower and 166 pound-feet of torque. Starting around 1990, the VG30e became available. This engine produced 153 horsepower and 180 pound-feet of torque. Note that the V6 engine option was not available on 96 and 97 model year trucks since that engine did not pass emissions requirements. When it comes to the frame and suspension on the hard body trucks, they featured a recirculating ball steering system with a torsion bar independent front suspension live rear axle with semi-elliptical leaf springs, a welded ladder frame that featured a box section design for the 4x4 models, power ventilated front disc brakes, and a double wall steel cargo bed designed to be extra tough. Also, as an option, you did have the availability of 31 inch tires from the factory, which Nissan claimed were the biggest wheel and tire setup that you could get from a factory manufacturer. There were automatic and manual transmissions available. The automatics consisted of the Jayco L3N71B or the Jayco RE4R01A from 1990 and on. The manuals were the FS5W71G for the four-cylinder models and the FS5R30A for the V6 models. They utilized a Fuji TX-10A part-time transfer case with 2.02 to 1 low range ratio and slip yoke output. The C200 rear axle was used on the 4-cylinder trucks with the H233B used in the V6 trucks. Note that the 96 and 97 4-cylinder 4x4 trucks also got the H233B that used a dropout third member. Front axles were the R180 or R200. Front axle shafts were equal length with the axle flange bolt pattern change around the 1990 model year. The options for the hard body trucks consisted of choosing your body style. 
You could choose from a regular bed, long bed, a king cab, regular cab, 4x2, 4x4, 4 cylinder, or V6 engines. Additionally, you could spec things like power windows and locks, air conditioning, a sunroof, and factory accessories. I think the star of the show are the factory accessories as they were designed by Nissan and offered great aesthetics. I particularly love the rear sport bar with the lights mounted on top of it and the front bull bars with fog lights. It really gives the truck a mean look. And since they were designed by Nissan, they fit perfectly. Like any older used vehicle, there are some common problems that you should be aware of. First, rusty frames can be prevalent, especially if the truck has spent most of its life in areas where they use salt or other chemicals that can corrode steel. Due to age and heat, the dashboards can crack and the paint can get faded on trucks exposed to those high temperatures. Sensors have also been known to go out regularly. Front torsion bars and bushings can fail. Also, if the truck has been lifted, it may cause the steering and suspension components to wear out prematurely. Do you own or have you owned one of these trucks in the past? What problems did you run into? Leave me a comment and let me know. After all of this information, what's my verdict on the Nissan hard body pickup truck? Well, I gotta say, this truck gets an 8.5 out of 10 burnouts. It looks good, there's some really cool 4x4 models available, and it offered some pretty strong engines and transmissions. Thanks so much for watching, please hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll see you for the next video.